Hi, this is Rich Harrington, and I'd like to show you how to merge a clip. The particular example we're going to look at is a DSLR sync sound workflow. However, there's lots of instances when you'll record separate audio and merge it with a new clip. I find that the easiest way to do this is in a bin. So I'll go ahead and open this up, and you'll notice in this case that I've put the clips into the timeline. Well, we can go ahead and merge these in the timeline or right up here in the bin themselves. Let's take a look at the workflow. Down here in the timeline, I'm just going to play through the clip. Mark it. Scene three, take five. And that little flash there is the sync point for the video. Now, in the timeline, I'm going to want to add a marker. You'll notice if I press M for marker, it adds it in the timeline itself. This isn't desirable, so I'll choose Undo. Instead, I want to go ahead and press F for Match Frame to load the clip into the source monitor. I'll then press M for Marker. Now, if you want to edit the marker, you can go ahead and right-click on it and choose Edit Marker, and this allows you to give it a name. I'll just call it Sync Point. And click OK. Let's check this next clip. I have a pretty good idea where the sync point's going to be. My guess is that little spike in the line right there. There it is. Let's press F for match frame. Notice it didn't load, and that's because the track wasn't selected. So I'll toggle off the selection and press F, and there it is. It loaded. All right, M for marker, and we'll edit that marker and name it. And we have it. Now, there's two ways to go ahead and take advantage of this alignment. First off, with the clips in the timeline, if I want, I can align those. I'll just choose Clip, Synchronize, and I'll use the two clip markers, and you see they're aligned. And that's fine, and it worked, but I'd like something a little more permanent. So over here in the bin, I'm just going to select those two audio sources and choose Clip, Merge Clips. I now have a whole range of choices, including time code, markers, in and out points, they all work. I'm just going to go with the clip marker in this case and say use the sync point marker. And then I'm going to choose to use the audio here and I'll remove the audio from the original video clip and instead replace it with the audio from the new clip. Here's the name up here and I'll just give this a new name. click OK, and you'll see a clip is added to the bin. If we load this up and play it, it's got the new audio that's clean without any of the background noise. Rip out your leg, your and that, well, that's just Notice that the dialogue is nice and clean and synced up. So that works really well. You see there we can go ahead and align clips in the timeline or the little more permanent merging them in the bin. Remember, this is a non-destructive action. You're not actually modifying the source media. Rather, you're making a change to the clips, generating a new clip by merging.